Hey guys, it's Gawain, and today we are going to be taking a look at one of two healing operators on defense, Thunderbird. Thunderbird is a two-speed, two-armor defense operator that specializes in healing and roaming. Thunderbird has good guns and a gadget that can replenish your teammates' health pools as long as they don't die. Good Thunderbird players will support their teammates that come back hurting from gunfights whilst applying pressure to the enemy at the same time. Let's learn how to play her. Thunderbird is equipped with her automatic gumball machines, of which she gets three. These gumball machines will launch gumballs at both defenders and attackers stood within the radius to heal them if they are below the maximum HP threshold for that operator. Your gumball machines will prioritize the operator with the lowest amount of HP that is stood in the radius, so if you have 45 HP and your teammate has 30, they will get healed first. The radius is 3 meters. Each gumball will heal for 20 HP and after a machine fires one out, it will go and cool down for 15 seconds before being able to fire another one. You and your teammates are able to see how long until the next gumball gets fired by the icon and circle above each Kona station. When initially placed down, it takes just 3 seconds to activate, so if you're in a hurry for health then you can do what's known as juggling your stations. Just pick them up and put them back down after they fire a gumball so you can get a lot of health faster. This does require you to sit on site and babysit your stations, but we'll talk more about that later. Ideally you want to place your your stations in an accessible point within the two sites so that your team can make quick, safe and easy rotations to get their health topped up. I tend to put two relatively close together, if not right next to each other for a quick burst of 40 HP to whoever runs into both stations and another somewhere else in a commonly played position. If there isn't an obvious place to put your third Kona station, feel free to pocket it and roam around the map so if you get shot or take damage in a gunfight whilst roaming, you can juggle yourself back to full HP. If you do choose to place all all three stations in sight, remember that you can rotate back to them, get healed up and head straight back out for another roam. The key to positioning your stations well is hiding them in cover and out of the enemy's way enough so that they can't shoot the station out and they can't run in and get healed easily. Definitely bear in mind the fact that your stations will heal anyone in their radius and place them in positions enemies will struggle to get to. To summarise, your stations will heal 20 HP per shot and can do so once every 15 seconds. You can juggle your stations to speed up the healing process and you want to place two closer together to get more health quicker. Position your stations out of sight of the enemy and out the way of them too so they don't get healed but your team does. Thunderbird's primary weapon options are the Spear 308 Assault Rifle and the Spaz 15 Shotgun. Her secondary weapon options are the Q929 Handgun and the Bearing 9 Machine Pistol. I personally run the Spear 308 paired with the Bearing 9. The Spear is a pretty reliable assault rifle with a decent damage stat, decent fire rate and fairly low recoil. There aren't any magnification optics available on Thunderbird's Spear but you shouldn't really need them all too much anyway. As for attachments, you can run whatever you want, I personally run the vertical grip paired with the suppressor solely because the suppressor makes this gun sound sexy. A flash hider can be nice just to produce the recoil a little further or the extended barrel can be good just to get a little bit of extra damage. It's completely up to you what attachments you run on this gun. As for the Spaz 15, it is the best semi-automatic shotgun in the game so it is a strong contender with the spear for your primary weapon slot. You can do some sight setup with it and you can do a lot of damage very quickly with it too. You can definitely definitely run this viably, especially on close quarters maps like Oregon because of your Bearing 9 secondary for an automatic ranged weapon. Speaking of the Bearing 9, it's a very good machine pistol that complements both the Spear and the Spaz 15. If you run out of bullets with the Spear or you do need a ranged option with the Spaz then you'll be grateful you chose the Bearing 9 as it shreds. As for the Q929, it's just an average pistol really with a higher than average damage stat, good gun, outclassed by the Bearing. For secondary gadgets, Thunderbird gets access to a singular bulletproof camera or two barbed wire. I opt for the bulletproof camera and I think you should too. It's a great gadget because it gives you another camera feed that's difficult to get rid of without an explosive and you can deny gadgets with the EMP burst too. Positioning this at the end of a long corridor where the enemy struggles to shoot the soft spot on the side can make a huge impact if you make calls to your team and deny the gadgets along that sight line. Barbed wire can be useful when you're roaming as it will create a sound cue when an enemy goes through it or destroys it allowing you to swing hopefully catching them off guard. Whilst barbed wire can be decent for intel gathering, it's usually a one-time use as the enemy can destroy it super easily and the sound cues aren't that loud, so the bulletproof camera is a much better option in my opinion. 
To start off the prep phase, place two of your automatic gumball machines in close proximity to one another in an easily accessible part of the site. Then, either place your third in a commonly held position or pocket it for your roam. Place down your bulletproof camera in a spot that won't get easily destroyed. Finally, reinforce some walls if you have time, if not, leave the objective room and start roaming. To kick off the action phase, get on the outside cams where the attackers are pushing from and rotate to that side of the map. Take gunfights with the enemy where possible, but play them safe. If you don't get a kill on your first swing, peek from another angle. If you get hit, either juggle yourself back to full health with the station in your pocket or run back to site for some healing. Assuming you went back to site, you can choose to either stay there and juggle your stations, essentially playing like an anchor, or go back out on a roam. Only juggle your stations if a lot of teammates are low on HP, otherwise you're better off outside the objective rooms and applying pressure to the attackers. Check your bulletproof camera to see if there are any enemies that can get flanked and go find some kills. As the attackers push into sight, wrap around behind them and shoot them all in the back, hopefully winning you the round. Rotisserie Chicken has a few counters. Twitch, Zero, Brava, IQ, EMPs, Bullets and Explosives. Twitch, Zero and Brava can all destroy your stations by either zapping them in Twitch and Zero's case or hacking them in Brava's case. Brava hack makes your station self-destruct as your gumball machines already heal enemies. To prevent this, utilise your bulletproof camera to EMP burst the gadgets and shoot them out before they can destroy your utility. IQ can see your Kona stations through surfaces, meaning she can get rid of them easily. To prevent this, hunt down the IQ whilst roaming so your stations don't start disappearing when no one's looking. Bullets and explosives will destroy your gumball launchers quickly and there's not much you can do about this other than positioning them better and not clumping all three in one spot to get taken out by one Flores drone. Place two automatic gumball machines in close proximity near to the center of sight so they are easily accessible for you and your whole team. Use the Spear 308 to take longer ranged engagements and still shred the enemy from any distance. Learn how to juggle your stations to speed up the healing process as it makes topping up your teammates health pools a lot quicker. Use the Bearing 9 as it shreds enemies from close range and it is a great backup weapon too. Learn how to apply pressure to the enemy and support your team by hopping in and out of sight to quickly heal yourself or a teammate and go straight back out to gunfight with another attacker. Overall, Thunderbird is an easy operator to play in my opinion as she has a straightforward kit with easy to use guns and gadgets, her primary gadget is just lacking in power right now I think. Learn how to juggle your gumball machines, how to control the spear in the bearing 9, how to balance roaming and healing, and you are sure to become a pretty decent Thunderbird player. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. If you found this guide helpful in any way, shape or form, please do consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends as it does help grow the channel, which is very much appreciated. As always, all the clips you saw in this video are taken from my Twitch stream, link will be on screen and in the description. If I sound a bit funny in the outro, it's because I'm suffering from fresh as flow from uni. Grim is next for the Siege series, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.